Patch 061 is coming and it brings along a load of interesting new changes coming to DayZ. We're going to be taking a look at what's to come for the next patch. Alright, so we already know that 061 will be mostly about the brand new audio engine. It'll provide a more immersive audio system with a really cool new feature which makes every sound effect sound realistic according to the environment. For example, if a gunshot goes off in the distance or there's an object in the way like a mountain, it'll sound muffled. But it will also feature new sound effects for a bunch of guns in the game. And a set of high quality ambient soundtracks to really bring out that immersion. Along with that, we'll get a new server login queue so we don't have to keep on spamming servers to get in. And a new system which will dynamically spawn infected, which means zombie hordes and uh, way more zombies for players in general because it will despawn infected that are not close to anybody and uh, will spawn more infected close to players in high traffic areas. Players will see way more zombies, period. Accompanying that new system of dynamically spawning stuff, we will see the introduction of predators. Initially that'll be the wolves, but it will later feature bears and so on. These wolves will hunt in packs and will definitely attack players, but killing a significant number of their pack will send the remaining wolves back into the woods as a result of watching their wolf buddies get killed. And the last main goal is the introduction of dynamic shadows. Basically it'll make Daisy look a lot more realistic and will definitely look loads better with light sources acting the way they should in real life. Now with every new update we get a list of main goals but there will also be a whole new set of other changes and introductions that they don't mention before a patch hits. This is because they don't know what will be ready to patch into the game as soon as the main goals are completed. Makes sense right? So we don't know what other stuff will be in 061 but it'll include some stuff from the DAISY pipeline. So what's in the DAISY pipeline currently? We have a bunch of new vehicles coming up, including the Volkswagen Golf 2, the Sarka 120, and some weird delivery truck looking thing. New animations for every gun that is malfunctioning, precise object placement used for base building, facial hair signifying how old the character is, night vision goggles, biohazard stuff for Tissy, hidden stashes, the Alice and the Coyote backpack from the mod, the CR-550, which is basically the CZ-550 in real life, bolt action rifle, the M249 saw light machine gun, the LAW rocket, the Uzi, the PKM machine gun, the Stayer scout rifle that you may know from Counter-Strike Source, the Sega-12 automatic shotgun that also features a drum mag, and the last of the guns, the pneumatic air gun. Environment art with plants and shit growing on buildings, Aiming and firing out of vehicles, which I'm really excited for. Uh, base building watchtowers. And the recently announced first airplane of Daisy, which is the yellow bumblebee crop duster. It'll be a great addition along with the first helicopter still to be introduced in DayZ. They're still working on the network synchronization for these vehicles and once that's done we will see a implementation of the first air vehicles in DayZ. But with every major patch in DayZ we also have a bunch of unknown map changes. The DAISY dev team has expressed to want to change the uh, middle southeast area of the map because it's not really used too much right now. It's the lowest traffic area of Chinaris. And uh, so they really want to change that. And also the development of, of Tissy is still going on. So there's a lot of map changes still coming in the pipeline. Now the dev team has said very recently that 061 will most likely hit experimental at the end of this month. There have already been a couple of playtests, internal playtests done for the new patch. So just to give you guys a heads up on why the patches have been lacking for DayZ recently is because now with every major engine module being replaced, we will see a bunch more changes to these areas. For example, they don't work on sound if the sound engine is being replaced. They, they won't do work on animations if the new animation system is coming. I mean, you're not going to buy a new kitchen for a house if you're going to sell it, right? So with that being said, I'm not here to sugarcoat things. I think the patches are taking way too long to release. Um, if we're going to be playing these patches for an extended period of time, which we are because it's early access, there should have been more attention to detail on legacy systems. For example, the current way of handling weapon sway just sucks. It feels awkward to use, it doesn't look like that in real life. I mean, the gun just floats around the screen. Your muscles are tense after running in real life, so that's where you get this jerky sway. Nothing like this floaty, floaty stuff. Anyway, that's maybe just my opinion. 
Even with all the bugs, uh, this game is very close to my heart and I want it to succeed very badly. So I just want to say to you guys, like, don't hold your tongue by not criticizing what you're playing. Just be respectful with your feedback to the people developing your game. Blindly fanboying something is bad. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out my latest Daisy video with all the funniest moments since the launch of the game. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date on Daisy news and I will see you in the next one. Meet you, Mr. Black. How can I come date you today? Well, I mean, we have your friends. I mean, your friends are here. They're safe. Wait, shh. Hold on, hold on. Get down, get down. Get down, get down. Oh, shit. I can't see them. Which direction? They're coming across. Come over here. I see them. They're looking at us. Oh, shit. They're fucking loads of them. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's 10. Oh, my God. There's 20 of them.